Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. The 1947 Stanford Competitive Examination included a version of this problem. I bought 72 identical items. Each item had the same cost, and the cost was a whole number of dollars. The total cost was a five-digit number. You don't know the first or last digit, but the middle three digits are six, seven, and nine. How much did each item cost? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will illustrate the answer using two different methods. Let's get started with a brute force calculation. The total number of items I bought is equal to 72. If we multiply that by the cost per item, we will get the total cost of all items. We can then vary the item cost, and that will affect the total cost. We're looking for a five-digit number where the middle three digits are equal to six, seven, and nine. Eventually, we will come across the possibility of 36,792. Therefore, the item cost is equal to $511. While this method is useful with today's computational methods, we should remember that in 1947, people didn't have such powerful computers like we do today. The other issue with this method is it doesn't tell us anything about the structure of this problem. So now, let's solve the problem using logic to understand it in another way. The key insight is that 72 is equal to 8 times 9. This means the total cost must be divisible by both 8 and 9. So let's recall some divisibility rules. We'll get started with the divisibility rule for 8. A number is divisible by 8 if its last three digits are. We have a five-digit number, and we'll focus on the last three digits. Recall that 800 is equal to 8 times 100. If we subtract 8 from both sides, we get 792 is equal to 8 times 99. If we subtract 8 again from both sides, we get 784 is equal to 8 times 98. Seeing that two of the digits must be equal to 7 and 9, the only possibility that works is 792. Therefore, the last digit must be equal to 2. Let's now go back to our five-digit number and suppose the first digit is equal to A. Let's recall the divisibility rule for nine. A number is divisible by nine if the sum of its digits is divisible by nine. We will therefore take the sum of these five digits. Then seven plus nine plus two is equal to 18. Notice that 18 is a multiple of nine, so we can eliminate that. We then want a plus 6 to be a multiple of 9. The only way this will happen is if a plus 6 is equal to 9, because a is a digit between 1 and 9. This means a is equal to 3, and that's the first digit. So our five-digit number will be 36,792. We can then divide by 72 to get the cost per item, and that'll be 511. For completeness, let's put in the dollar symbols. Therefore, our answer is $511. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.